say a little bit about how your jobs kind of changed over the last few seasons? Yeah, it definitely has changed. Like from the start of pro snowboarding for me, it was kind of like film a video part every year. Yeah. And then everything else was just a result of like going out and filming every day, like photos and stuff in the mags and stuff. And then, uh, and then there's one year that I had a rough year, like tweaked my knee, and it was the picture this year for Mac Dog, and nothing came out. And like at the end of the season, it was just so frustrating. It was like I can't do this anymore. You know, it didn't seem like I was, you know, like had a goal to like make a better video part. It's like just kind of seemed like something that I was just doing over and over again, and right. got kind of repetitive. And so at the end of that season, I just talking with my sponsor Solomon and all my sponsors, and just saying that I needed to do something different. And yep. and uh, so it just worked out. Like nowadays, they don't expect too much of me and they just like I just head around and do the stuff that seems like the most fun you know going on the best trips at the best times and just trying to pick my battles not going out every day of the year trying to get like hoping for something right. but rather just like showing up the right place at the right time with the right people and like good friends who are stoked on snowboarding and it's definitely like filming is definitely tough like way tougher than it looks just you know trying to like do the mind battle and everybody's freaking out about getting shots and it's like ah oh, geez you know, and definitely life's way easier, but I think in, like with all that film and I was eventually going to go crazy and not snowboard anymore or just figure out something different. Right. So luckily I figured out something different, I think, as far as I know. Okay. What made you get on to a, tri a Japan trip with a bunch of like young rail kids? <laughs> that one was like last second. I just headed back home and I called up my team manager, Hava at Solomon, and he's like, hey, we're going to Japan in a day. Right. I'm like, oh, right on. And they're heading to the North Island. And I've traveled just over the years, over the last like 12, 14 years or whatever. Been to Japan 13 times and always to the South Island. And South Island's like decent snowboarding, but nothing special for sure. It's like like uh, resorts that double as golf courses in the summer and just kind of like rolling hills and nothing special. And then the North Island of Kaido is, is where you see all the good stuff, like all those absent videos of Nicholas and DCP rallying like Blower Pow. And so they said they're going up to Hokkaido and I'm like, oh yeah, count me in for sure. As with uh, all these young kids, young kids compared to me, I guess, like Laurent and LMP and Chris Grenier and, yeah. and uh, like super fun group of uh, shredders and uh, just going with them and it's so cool. Like everybody's so stoked and everything was so new to them. And for me, like going there again, it was like new part of Japan, but it was like, you know, kind of the same, same right. stuff. But then getting them involved, it was like everything's like just seeing how stoked they are and just rice coming out for breakfast and stuff like that. Yeah. But we went there and it was like nose deep pal, like so incredibly deep and oh, like amazing terrain and hiking around and had this uh, Japanese guy just showing us exactly like which direction to head and just launching off pillows and definitely the type of snowboarding I look forward to these days. And then in the end we went into Sapporo and I, I was the only one with the driver's license for driving on the left side and so I drove those guys around and watched them launch off of like get all crafty in the city and all that. That was super sweet. Kind of seeing them in their element or their like perfect element. like so good at doing what they do. Yeah. yeah.